Hello guys! Are you new to reef tanks? Or are you thinking of setting up reef tanks but don't know where to start when it comes to choosing the beginner-friendly fish? Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll look at 10 saltwater fish that are perfect for beginners and 3 that you should avoid at all costs. After watching this complete video, you'll have all the knowledge you need to choose the best saltwater fish for your tank. So let's get started. Before considering which fish to get for your new saltwater aquarium, make a checklist and be prepared for beginner mistakes and errors because the saltwater hobby is said to be more complex than the freshwater side. This is true to some extent and saltwater is much more expensive, but if done right, it doesn't have to be a challenge. So, ensure your tank is fully set up and ready to accommodate an ecosystem. Remember that cycling a saltwater aquarium can take anywhere from 4 to 6 weeks and cannot be rushed. Also, remember that saltwater fish require much more space than freshwater ones, which can significantly impact the vision you originally had for your tank. You will find that saltwater aquarium fish are easier than they might seem. Some species are considerably more accessible than others and more suited for beginners. But before going to our list, there are some saltwater fish species you should actively try to avoid. 3. Saltwater Fish to Avoid Though saltwater isn't much more complex than freshwater in the basic sense, there are some saltwater fish you will want to avoid as a beginner. Some other fish species can be sensitive to water parameters, prone to illness, or demanding regarding tank size and diet. These fish require extra time, consideration, and budget. So here are three fish that you should avoid for your saltwater fish tank. Hippo tang, mandarin goby, copperband butterflyfish are three such fish that you should avoid at your initial stage in fish keeping. So my advice is to watch the entire video on why these fish are considered to avoid. You can get the link in the description. So let's start the list of top 10 saltwater fish that you can easily manage if you are a beginner. The fish in the first position on our list is the clownfish, one of the prettiest fish in the hobby. Clownfish are one of the most recognizable saltwater aquarium fish available. But did you know that there are about 30 different species of this orange and white striped marine fish with even more variations available? The Ocellaris clownfish, also known as the false percula clown, is the most common species and ideal tank mate for smaller community tanks. More aggressive types and larger clownfish, like the maroon clownfish, can easily fit into bigger reefs and more dynamic ecosystems. Clownfish are ideal beginner fish since they are easy to care for, hardy, and don't require a huge aquarium to survive happily. Because wild clownfish always stay in or near anemones in a reef environment, they require very little space. They readily eat fresh, frozen, and dried food. The next fish on our list is Royal Grandma. The Royal Grandma is another popular addition to the saltwater aquarium and a lesser known member of the Finding Nemo franchise. This half yellow and purple fish appeals to beginner hobbyists due to its small size and bright colors. These beginner saltwater fish could be attractive and affordable. Still, they tend to act aggressively toward other fish in the aquarium, especially ones that were later introduced and have a similar appearance. Royal Grandma is an extremely hardy fish and definitely has a lot of character to bring to the home saltwater aquarium. Still, aggression will need to be monitored as the fish becomes more confident in its environment. So, monitor their behavior if you think of adding mates to its tank. Now, let's move to the third position on our list which is Bangai Cardinalfish. A captive-bred Bangai Cardinalfish was always at the top of my list when choosing the fish for our new reef aquarium. We were confident that the Bangai Cardinal would be a good choice because it is hardy, versatile, and personality-filled. Bangai Cardinalfish is much more desirable than the related Pajama Cardinal, Sphiramia nematoptera. These small, black and white mouth-brooding fish have also been known to successfully breed in the aquarium, making them a fun challenge for more experienced hobbyists. Bangai cardinalfish are only native to the Bangai Islands in Indonesia and some surrounding islands, making them a rare fish to come across in the wild. As a result, most of the Bangai cardinalfish available in the aquarium hobby has been aquaculture. Now let's move to our next fish on this list, which is chalk bass. 
If you're looking for a marine fish not usually found in beginner aquariums, then the chalk bass is the right option for you. These fish are relatively plain in color, with a bluish-white base coat and overlaying red stripes at the top of their dorsal. Chalk bass fish species are cute and active, and their exciting patterns make them look unique. They are one of the most underrated fish species, but adding them to your fish tank can be a good option because they are hardy fish and are not prone to illness. They can be shy at first, but will swim in the open given the right conditions, so you can add chalk bass if you are thinking of reef tanks. After chalk bass now, let's learn about our next fish on this list, which is yellow chorus wrasse. The yellow chorus wrasse is bright yellow and difficult to pass over when shopping for new saltwater aquarium fish. Due to the size and activity of this beginner saltwater fish, yellow chorus wrasses need more space than the other fish on this list. These fish are one of the hardiest species of wrasse and like to be around other wrasses. They won't touch corals in a reef tank, but they are likely to eat other small invertebrates available in and around the rock. These wrasses are workhorses in the aquarium. It is a great choice for a saltwater reef tank because it preys on many types of pests that can infest your corals. It is super active and full of personality. It's one of my favorite yellow saltwater fish that is available in stores. The next fish on our list is Coral Beauty Angelfish, which is known for its beautiful colors. Coral beauties are easy to identify, and it's clear how they earned their name. As a species of dwarf angelfish, the coral beauty grows to about 4 to 6 inches. They are velvety purple with yellow and orange embers streaks across their sides. Their bellies usually have the most vibrant oranges and yellows. In especially vibrantly colored fish, light blue margins can be seen along the fins, accenting some facial features. For a long time, coral beauty angelfish were shoved into nanotanks. Recently, hobbyists have started appreciating them as fish and housing them in the large tank setups they deserve. Though relatively small, coral beauties need room to swim and algae to graze on. Coral beauty angelfish are relatively peaceful but have been known to be aggressive towards similar species, like the flame angelfish. Now, let's move to our next fish on this list, which is azure damselfish. Azure damselfish are some of the most colorful beauties in the saltwater hobby, making them popular for some reef keepers. They are considered one of the least aggressive damselfish in the hobby, making them a great choice if you have never set up a saltwater tank of your own before. In addition to clownfish, other species of damselfish are very popular saltwater fish for beginners. However, they're not always the best choice. In general, damselfish are very aggressive fish. However, Beginners often make the mistake of adding these beginner saltwater fish to their aquariums and having them terrorize other fish. Luckily, the azure damsel is one of the least aggressive species of damselfish, though there's still the possibility that they'll establish strict territories and attack their tank mates. If you want to add some tank mates, then go with more aggressive fish like clownfish, tangs, angelfish, etc. After damselfish, let's learn about yellow watchman goby, known for its unique appearance. The yellow watchman goby is an enjoyable fish, especially if you pair it with a symbiotic species of pistol shrimp, like the tiger pistol shrimp. This pairing is trendy in nano setups. Otherwise, these beginner saltwater fish are bright yellow and can bring activity to the bottom of any tank. Yellow watchman gobies can be timid fish at first. They will burrow into the substrate and underneath a rock to form tunnels, which can help be maintained by a pistol shrimp. Though these gobies won't stray far from their burrows, they'll come out for food and constantly try to improve their homes. Now let's learn about Tank Ray's Yellow Tang. Its striking yellow color can add beauty to your tank. Yes, yellow tangs can be a great beginner saltwater fish, given that conditions are right. Hobbyists interested in getting a yellow tang for their tank need to understand that these fish are active swimmers and grazers. They need a lot of open swimming space, but they also need a lot of rock to pick at algae and other microflora. Many yellow tangs originated from Hawaii. Unfortunately, these ecosystems have been affected by overharvesting, and Hawaii's Department of Land and Natural Resources has needed to intervene. In early 2021, Harvesting permits could not be renewed and all current permits became invalid. Luckily, the yellow tang is commonly bred in captivity so that their delicate Hawaiian ecosystems can be repaired. 
These tank-bred yellow tangs are hardy and adapt quickly to aquarium life. Let's move to our last fish on this list, which is firefish goby. Firefish goby are cheap, small, and unique, but they can quickly disappear from a saltwater tank. Unfortunately, these fish have a bad habit of jumping out of aquariums or disappearing behind rocks. This can dissuade some fish keepers, thinking they've done something wrong to kill the fish when these fish are just notorious for being timid and jumpy. If you're looking for something a little more colorful, but with the same personality as the firefish, then a purple firefish might be what you're looking for. So you can keep firefish goby if you want to add a unique personality to your saltwater fish tank. The world of saltwater can be scary, but also incredibly exciting. There are tons of popular fish species to pick from, and the options might seem limitless. If you're starting, some beginner saltwater fish are more accessible to keep than others. Once you feel confident in keeping those, you can move on to the more challenging and expensive species. Until then, maintain your water parameters and make your fish as happy as they can be. So I hope this video helped you a lot. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, where we discuss all the aquarium-related topics and help you guys to thrive in the aquarium hobby. Thanks for watching this video. And if you want to add freshwater fish to your 10-gallon tank, you can watch the video popping on your screen.